friends, we've got a huge downpour. It's quite humid out here. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you Walking the line And the we have been needing this rain so bad but my big problem is I have just let my chickens out to free range my babies I need to run down and check on them and see how they're doing hopefully they had the good sense to go inside their shelter Fingers crossed. Can't take the camera with me, can't get it wet, but we'll run down there right now and check on them. All right, friends, so the storm is finally over, and now we're gonna go check on all the animals. But first, we have our sheep that we need to go ahead and address her hoof because it's still bothering her. Jake, do you think you can wrangle her up this time? No. You sure? She's fast. She's fast, but I think you can get her. All right, I got it. All right, he said he's got it. Let's go see how well he can do. So she's doing much better today. Yesterday she was limping around. We went ahead and did the treatment yesterday. Did it again today. So all we're doing is cleaning it with some water. Adding some gentle betadine and then putting on this hoof treatment that I found at Tractor Supply. So hopefully this continues to help. We're gonna do this every day until we don't notice it anymore. I bought hoof trimmers today at Tractor Supply so I can go ahead and trim both of their hooves because she definitely needs it done and then his is getting really long so I know his needs to be done soon. So I'm gonna watch a few videos on how to do it because I've never done it before. So we will see how it goes. I will probably do that in the next couple days. Not today. I've got to do some more research on how to trim them. All right, I'm gonna go put this stuff away and we're gonna head over to the garden and see how it did during this big rainstorm. Hopefully my tomatoes didn't snap in half. This creek has been pretty dry for a while. Like, I mean, there's always been water in it, but hardly any water. You can always see the bottom recently until this nice big storm. We've got tons of water in it right now, which is very good. I wanna leave these. Right here. Yeah. Holding the, holding the creek in. Wow. All right, let's head over to the garden. Make sure all my tomatoes are still standing. Ooh. 
got a squash that looks a little rotten. So we're gonna go ahead and feed it to the pig. Haggard, you want a treat? They all look good. Tomatoes are still standing. They didn't fall over, thank goodness. There's a couple of them that looks like they need another steak to bring them up, but all in all, they look pretty good. I love cherry tomatoes. These are looking really good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and walk over to the meat birds and see how they're doing now that the storm has passed and it's a beautiful day again. Oh, you wanna open up the... <laughs> they know food's coming. Do you see the one on top? Oh, yeah. Well, the only casualty we had was the feed. It got soaking wet, but they don't seem to care. They're going to eat it regardless. Do we want to move that uh, down? Or did we already move it today? I moved it yesterday, right there. I don't know if I want to put it there, how soaking it was. Oh, yeah. We can probably move it up. I was thinking maybe if we move that back over place, here. That back line up. Stop it that way, but We'd have to move, move that. We can, we can, we can turn it around and have it go down this way, okay. and then we can go around that way. I'll bring them some feed so that way they stay out of the way. So we got the fence line moved a little bit and I was able to move their house over. So now it's in a more dry area. It's not so wet. But this is what we're supposed to do every single day with your meat birds. If you don't, you leave them in a spot too long and guess what? They completely kill your grass. It comes back eventually, but it takes longer and it gets really slippery and slimy. So it's ideal to move your chicken tractor every single day. The humidity is insane right now. It's not that hot out here, but it's so humid, I'm completely drenched. I'm gonna have to go inside and take a shower. It's bad. So one of our animals that we have not found yet is our duck. We let her out and she roams around. She goes to the creek, she walks around the property, but I haven't seen her yet not uncommon that we don't find her until later on in the evening because she's literally everywhere she goes everywhere I just hope she got out of the creek before it got super flooded quack-a-deck quack-quack-quack quack-a-deck-a yeah oh that would be ideal to do it right now well, unless your dad took her in his room oh there she is oh right over there Founder, she's over by the big barn. So, she was smart. She got in somewhere safe while it was raining, and she was not in the creek. Quacker duck, quacker ducker, come on, quackers! Did you enjoy the rain? Did you enjoy the rain, huh? Huh? 
How many cultures? How many peanuts? Huh? Did you guys enjoy the rain? Crazy dogs. Come on. Come on. Hey, Darla. Come on, coach. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Hey, quackers. What'd you think of the rain, huh? What'd you think, quacker duck? Ain't it, I'm such a cute boy, huh? Last year, this apple tree did not produce hardly any apples, and this year it is loaded down. We're gonna be getting lots of apples off of this tree. We are trying to reseed as we can since it's nice and wet out here. Figured now is a good time to go ahead and throw some seed out there and hopefully it soaks in. All right, y'all, it is time to close up for the night. It's about 8.30, 8.45, and it gets dark here about nine o'clock. So last thing I do is go ahead and put the dogs to bed. They get a whole bucket here full of at least 30 eggs, if not more with a couple scoops of their kibble and that is their dinner. Hard working dogs deserve good meals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them to bed. It is getting really foggy around here. Tonight it's gonna get crazy. And when you're feeding seven dogs you have to get creative. I have to close up, feed all their bowls, and then let them in a little at a time or else they just go crazy with it. The pups still haven't figured out that they each have their own bowls. Sometimes they will go to their own separate bowls, other times they like to share. All right, time to go ahead and collect the eggs and lock everything down for the night. All right, friends, I've collected my eggs for today, which is not my hundred that I had been getting. We've got a lot of broody hens and I think they are off laying somewhere else because all the nesting boxes are full with our broody mamas. So we'll take what we got. But thanks for hanging out with me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day. Come on, Quacker Duck. Come on, Quacker Duck. Come on. Come on, Quacker Duck. Duck, 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 Duck. What are she doing? Come on. Time for bed. Come on, let's go to bed.